Hi, I'm Ms. Varela. Hi, I'm Mrs. Corcoran. Hi, I'm Mr. Bustamante. Today we're going to show you how to do scanograms. Hi guys. So today I'm going to talk to you about my objects. And the theme I chose was autobiography of Mrs. Corcoran. So when I'm thinking about objects to choose, I'm thinking about which objects are meaningful to me in my life. And the first object that I have is the this angel carving. And I brought this because my mom always bought me these angel carvings when I was growing up. Every year for my birthday, she bought me a different one. And they're meaningful to me. I brought a paintbrush because I love to paint and I'm an artist. I brought a dried flower because I think it's beautiful. And I also really like chrysanthemums. I bought, brought both of these geodes, and I really brought these because my son loves geodes, and this reminds me of my son. And I brought a quote, and this quote uh, is about Christmas, and Christmas is a meaningful holiday to me just because it reminds me of family, and it's always a happy time. And I also really like the fact that it was on transparent paper. Actually, it's more like translucent, but I thought about how the camera would pass through this and I thought that would be an interesting thing to try in the scanner. And then I have some newspaper clippings of the city of Chicago because I lived in Chicago for a while and I love Chicago, Chicago Tribune. And here's like the cityscape. I also brought this very small snow globe of Minnesota because I went to Minnesota over the summer and it was an awesome experience, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And I did see um, a mountain lion. This is a black bear, but there was a lot of wildlife out there. So the last thing I brought is a camera lens, of course, because I'm a photographer. And I also thought this would be an interesting thing to scan. So those are my objects. Hello guys, let me show you some items that I brought for my scanograms. Um, I brought a bunch of things, but I pared it down, and I think this theme is pretty consistent. The theme is kind of like childhood slash games and toys that I had when I was a kid. Um, I'm going to start off, these are two little cards from Loteria, so it's like Mexican bingo. I picked these specifically because it has uh, El Cotoro, which is like a parakeet, so it's like a singing bird, which reminds me of my mom because she always had music on. The reason I always had music on is because my mom had music on 24-7, and then I have La Bota because it reminds me of my dad because he always wore boots. Right, so I have those two as like parent type stuff. And then I have a bunch of other things that remind me of my other siblings. This is a little Zelda, or a, a Link figurine from The Legend of Zelda, which is like the first video, video game I remember playing with one of my brothers, so I got this guy. Um, and then my other brother taught me to play guitar, and it's the reason I still play guitar. So I have a bunch of little guitar picks, and I brought a lot because I think they'd all look different with the scan. So some are kind of like translucent, they're a little bit see-through, and some are solid colors. So I have a bunch, and also just to have some repeating shapes. So I thought that would look cool. And then this is also, it's called a uh, slide. It's also for playing guitar, but it's completely transparent. I thought that would look kind of cool with some light going through it. And then for me, other things that I liked when I was a kid was, I always liked art even as a kid, so I have a little easel and a little painting that I made. I have a water brush, which is kind of translucent, so I'm kind of interested to see how this would look under the, under the scanner. And then last but not least, I have a lucha mask because this is like one of the first things I would watch like every Saturday morning, I'd watch like Mexican wrestling on like local TV or whatever. So that's my childhood toys. Hey guys, um, my theme for my photogram is my daughter. Um, she's now two, but as I was putting stuff away um, in storage, I started looking at all her uh, baby toys and her objects and I started getting sentimental and I decided I wanted to make my scanogram about her. So I brought in way more than will ever fit on a scanner um, and I'm not really sure how some things will look but that's okay. This is about experimenting. Um, so I brought in some really large objects, some smaller objects, and then I might find out that I might have to bring even more in. Um, especially because I brought some things in that were very like muted in color and some that are really bright so they might not be unified once I actually get them on the scanner. So what I have here is um, she has some fun magnets and I really thought this would be cool for a repetition um, of shape and I thought that they work together because there's that repetition of color in them as well. Um, I brought in a bunch of different toys she has with different textures and I brought in a couple pairs of her shoes. Um, I really like her Converse. These are like sentimental for me because this was her announcement um, picture and I thought the 
shoestrings would be really cool texture in the scanner, but I thought they might be a little big. We'll see. Um, so then when I was thinking about that, maybe I uh, want to bring in her smaller shoes that had some cool glitter. I wanted to see how that kind of reflected off the scanner. And they're smaller. Maybe they would fit into my um, composition better. I brought in a picture of her to include. And then I also found some toys that um, I really like the shape. Like um, I like this circular repetition of her toys. And I thought this would be working well in terms of creating like leading line. Um, and movement in my composition. And then I brought um, some fluffy toys. Again, I really like the pattern and the texture in some of these. And then I brought this entirely huge blanket. Again, I was thinking that this could work for um, pattern and texture behind what I lay out. So we'll see what I end up using in the film.